Hey everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to install Stratodesk Notatch OS on a Dellwise Thin client. As you can see, here I have a Dellwise running on Windows Embedded 7. Installing Notatch OS is easy and can be done in multiple ways. Today I am going to use a bootable USB. In fact, it is the Stratodesk official um, USB called Notouch Go that comes with Notouch OS preloaded. So let's go ahead and plug the USB into the device. And to have the device boot from USB, there are some changes that need to be made in the BIOS menu. So let's go ahead and restart. Now, before the endpoint boots up, uh, we need to press uh, the delete key in the keyboard to enter the BIOS menu. The default password for Dellwise BIOS menu is Fireport. In here, using the arrow keys, let's go under advanced and enable boot from USB. Next, let's go and make the USB the main uh, medium to boot from. We do that by selecting the USB using the arrow keys and keyboard, and then using the plus key, we move USB to the first position to boot from. Now, let's press F10 to save changes and exit from this menu. The device will reboot again. So now the device is booting from the USB that we just plugged in and on this screen we're being asked if we want to live boot Notouch OS or to install it. We could alternatively live boot without changing the underlying or the original OS if we wanted to only test Notouch OS here. But for this video let's go and click install. On this next screen, we select install Notash OS and select OK. OK again. Select OK to override the flash drive. Installation was successful, now we press enter to continue and then select reboot after the installation. Now because I have the USB still plugged in into the device, it is trying to boot from the USB. So what I'm going to do is remove the USB and force the device to reboot. This is no touch OS booting up for the first time. So I am going to skip the quick start guide here. And by that we agree to EULA. So let's go ahead and create a connection by right clicking anywhere in desktop and selecting configuration. The default password is admin. Let's go under connection and let's click add, then edit.
Stratodesk comes with many VDI clients pre-integrated, such as Citrix, VMware Horizon, uh, WVD or AVD, and many more, as well as with uh, browsers such as Chromium, Firefox, and even Microsoft Edge recently. So let's select Chromium for this demonstration and rename this connection to Chrome. As you can see, an icon appears in the desktop. Double click and this launches the connection or the application. Let's go to stratodesk.com for this demonstration and see how that performs. And that's it for this demo. Thanks for watching.